check this out guys so i go to oracle okay i go to the receivables okay and then i go to billing here by default i've given a filter so when i go to manage transactions you can see that it is showing me these four invoices for a customer called abdullah salam okay so when i click on that any one of them you can see the business unit is mobile visual network operator that's the business unit okay so you can see that there are four invoices four invoices overall there is no other search parameter you can see that i've just given between 5 years i've given the name uh, this particular business unit and this particular uh, customer abdullah salam customer okay uh, let me try to do a duplicate and go to the go to the receipt screen also to show you the receipts okay so i am going to the receipts i go to manage receipts so here also i have given a filter like this uh the same business unit and the same customer abdullah so totally it has uh four invoices and two receipts okay i'm still building on this but i just thought i'll quickly show you uh the progress which i've made so far on this okay so now uh these two you know now let me go to my pie charm okay and see what i've done streamlet run o dot py okay so it opens the streamlet application okay so this is called oracle fusion ar invoice and received q and a app so you can see that there is the fusion base url there is the username there is the password and what i have done here right because i am uh, i want to restrict the performance problems um, i basically gave a filter for this particular business unit mobile visual network operator business unit which is our business unit for this one okay and similarly i have given the customer name because otherwise there was a lot of performance issues okay but i'll be working on more uh, such pro proof of concepts but this was something which i was uh, waiting to do for a very long time as you know and i'm trying to get to that so now let me paste the url over here so let's go here pick the url from oracle okay pick the data from oracle paste it here and then i paste my login credentials which is your oracle's username password okay i pasted that this one is there and now i have to paste the open ai key here okay so i am pasting my open ai key once i do that i say load data so there is a button over here which says load data so right now i'm querying from oracle fusion as you remember all these days i was trying to query from csv or pdfs and things like that but right now as a next step in our process i'm trying to query from oracle directly okay so that's what i have done so when i say load data it runs and let's see what happens so it says data loaded successfully and it shows me these four transactions and these two receipts okay you can see that these are the four transactions these are the two receipts and that's exactly what i'm seeing over here so i kept it with minimum number of data the reason is when i have lot of data uh, and with limited parameters like the search parameters then it's taking a very very long time but you can see those four uh, invoices and two receipts are being displayed here okay applied cleared and all that you can see the amount also so that is applied amount this is basically coming from from the oracle so right now this is part of oracle now let me ask a question okay now let me ask a question i'll just say although i know that this is only for one customer abdullah salam let me ask the question it could be right you you i can i'm going to expand it for multiple customers too but let me quickly ask it which customer information do you have and if you recollect i had done the same thing in the previous uh, video on the series also but that time i was trying to read from a csv file right so which customer information do you have ask ai okay click on this so it's again running and similar to what happened in our previous there is an agent thought process okay so it keeps running 
this is the internal thought and i can also hide this i try to keep this in the matrix theme just for making it more fancier uh, i have the option of hiding this agent thought process also but i did not i just wanted this and guys what i'm trying to do is instead of printing this in one go right i wanted to uh, i wanted to make it print word by word but then it is taking too much time and it is failing i'm still working on that but i was a little too excited to uh, show this to you so this is the agent thought process and then it tells me the agent's response is abdullah salam which is the one which is the customer which we used here okay that's the customer uh, it is giving me an answer now let me ask okay how many invoices how many invoices does the customer abdullah salam have now there are some challenges there are some issues in this which i'll tell you towards the end okay let's see what it says ask ai so again it's running through this time it's saying get customer invoices i think it's saying zero invoice which is not the takes how many it was working earlier when i asked the question abdullah maybe it's because of the underscore okay let's try that ask ai so now when i gave the underscore see right now it is still in the process i'm still in the process of coding it but right now it's not differentiating underscore versus not having the underscore it needs the exact name but if you see here now it's again reading through that chain get customer invoices previously it was not showing right it reads through all this this is its internal thoughts okay which is displaying for us and at the end it says abdullah salam has four invoices that's because of this so just because i did not have underscore that time uh, because it's reading from oracle it is looking at the exact i need to add more intelligence saying that the names can have or cannot have underscores all that i will do next because this is my first step and as you guys know i have been trying to do this for a long time but i was facing lot of challenges to get to this point but i still wanted to show you now you can see these two receipts now let's go here and say let's go back here and say how many total receipts does abdullah salam customer abdullah salam have okay let's see now it says it runs a different agent called get customer receipts it's reads through everything and then it says abdullah salam has two receipts okay so it did that it basically show it be these two receipts so let me ask this information on what is the entered amount what is the invoice or the let's say the received amount of received number or something like that let me ask that what is the amount of the receipt number 1 okay let's ask that what is the amount of the receipt 1 of customer the thing is i have to give uh, the exact name of the customer right now but i mean oh what happened abdullah salam let me go back here sorry i need the exact spelling right now but i will change that later abdullah salam let's say what it says what is the amount of the receipt one of Ab abdullah salam get receipt details it's automatically running the get receipt details uh, it says the receipt amount amount of received one is not available as the receipt does not exist which is wrong because the receipt is existing um let's say receipt number 1 it's still like a little baby you know trying to learn let's see okay there is no receipts can you list the receipts of customer abdullah salam still needs a little more refinement maybe the data is too less for it to understand but let's see what it says the receipts have been listed but it's not listing in this screen it's basically listing here it's going into the actions uh can you display 
let's say this display the receipts let's see what it does okay now it says the receipts for customer shows receipt number 13 of 500 dollars and receipt number one so you can see that it is still able to read but you know it's still in the learning process so it may take more such iterations and proper questions and again i'm using a very simple model um, gpt4 model to uh, get the responses uh, get the reasoning done and get the responses done but i think uh, this may change okay i just wanted to show you this let's let's do one more what's the uh, can you display the invoices again invoices of customer abdullah salah so now it's going back to get customer invoices reads it shows its uh, internal processing and again it says displayed uh, we have to say can you please display on screen display the invoices invoice details of on the screen we have to refine this for sure okay but you know getting to this point took me a very long time um so it's still not completed yet but i just wanted to show you where i am today because there needs to be more uh enhancement to be done it says it's displayed on the screen but i think it's referring to this one okay let me ask one last question is uh what can we ask what is the currency of the invoices let's try to ask that what is the currency of the invoice of customer abdullah salam so right now it doesn't have much of memory also i have to add the memory components but let's see if it because i just want to uh, make sure i don't keep say i don't want to keep saying abdullah so let's say cut case customer invoices scroll down okay so it says the currency is sar which is saudi arabian currency okay so it's working fine let me ask something totally unrelated to this file okay let me ask totally unrelated to oracle and see what it does what is hey how are you let's see let's see what it does now remember this should not there should be nothing from oracle it should be the agent or the ai which should ask see now it's doing something else and it says the customer is abdullah salam because it keeps thinking that we are trying to get the customer but i'm not even asking the customer in this case it reads something it says final application not final answer not applicable okay but somehow it's reading this as a customer now initially it says this is not a relevant question for the tool provided because i'm asking you a question which is not in my training right so i should focus on answering the questions related to customer information invoices receipts and payments the reason is when i was trying to set this up i asked it not to answer any generic questions it should be from within within the database and then it assumed by itself can you list all the customers because that was the first question i asked so there was a little bit of memory but i'm still refining this what i want to do is have it read more than just two invoices and i mean four invoices and two receipts i want to pass in the just the business unit if you see here i just passed in the hard coded i had to give the customer name but i want to expand this or i don't want to give any customer name i just want to see for a given business unit what are the list of customers how many invoices are there what kind of payments are pending what is due which is paid that sort of questions i want the bot to answer but the biggest difference between what has happened so far and what has happened today is that now i am able to query from the application directly from oracle fusion directly and as you guys know this is something i had been trying for a very very long time okay i am really happy this worked but there is a lot of refinement needed for this and i would like to give a shout out to somebody called nagesh manda who has very helpful for me he shared some sample code with me uh, from the api rest api side using which i could do some further analysis so nagesh thank you so much for your help uh, i took that as a sample and you know did my own level of uh, further research and you have a lot of this rest apis oracle rest apis available there is another person called michael ko who also helped me who actually showed me the uh, rest apis in the system so i was able to use that and uh, perform this development so i am really happy that multiple people came to my rescue 
uh, at the end of the day this is what i want to do i want to refine this further and make it look better okay so keep uh, liking and commenting my videos team slowly i'll start merging generative ai with oracle just like this this was an, a very minor example of a generative ai where we are generating answers in english like language okay and uh, imagine how powerful this can become if you connect this to your or, or uh, fusion application okay there may be more things which i'm planning to do down the line in if i'm able to connect to oracle once that's it then you know there will be multiple use cases which i have in mind which i plan to do and i'll show that to you one by one all right team thank you so much for your time i'll talk to you sir in the next session bye